Yo, what's going on? Welcome back on my YouTube channel. So we back on the third episode of you know I'm um, just you experiencing days with me and today's gonna be super awesome. I'm moving into my new place. Not only that we're also gonna be shooting for like you know I'm um, a scene that we are planning on creating and making and there'll be things that like you know I'll be getting out there in the street. So I want you guys to experience all of that with me. Make sure that you have liked, subscribed, it's your belly swamu to be let's get on with the day. Guys, we just landed now here at the office. So we just wanna collect a few things, handle a few businesses, and we are gonna be moving and going on with the day. My tooth is painful, so I feel like maybe today we should also go check out what's happening at the dentist. I'm not too sure, but we'll just see, guys. We'll see, because it's been three weeks. I've been delaying on going to the dentist, the doctor, and everything, but I feel like I really should now. But yeah, we'll just see what's happening. Let's enter the office. Yo guys, so you guys did manage to see that, like, you know, as soon as we woke up, we woke up from the hood, like, you know, what actually happened is that the whole weekend, you know, I spent it in the hood. So about me moving in, moving out and stuff, you know, what actually happened is um, we came from, you know, staying where I was staying, you guys know where I was staying before and stuff. And like, you know, I wasn't like too comfortable with being there for a longer time frame. And it came to a point that by like, you know, I had to like, you know, my lease agreement it was that thing of do I renew it or do I not renew it? And obviously, like, you know, I didn't want to renew it. Okay, guys, so now we're done here at the office. You can simply see here a beautiful, productive morning. So now we're just going to head over and continue with the day and see what's happening in the streets, what's not happening in the streets. And obviously, Matavati, is there any last words that you want to say? Bye, come back soon. <laughs> Definitely, we'll be back soon. She doesn't want me to leave for a very long time. Sadia, what is it that you're saying to us? Peace guys, be safe. You too. Nice, nice, nice. Sadia said peace guys, must be safe. So let's make sure that we are safe in the streets. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Youngster, let's enter them, let's enter them. Shake it back up. What's your number again? Yeah, yeah, OTP. Yeah, yeah, OTP. Zero six five. Hope. Yes. We'll see you next. Okay. Cheers. Within the next few months or within, within a year's time frame, you know, we're looking into moving into bigger homes and doing all these things and stuff. So automatically it means that like, you know, I have to be comfortable with living into in a house. So I just had to start looking for houses and stuff. So fortunately, they managed to get one and stuff. And yeah, um, that's, that's, that's the whole thing that, that, that has been happening. So what we done is that we took my um, furniture, everything that we need for the house, we took them over to the storage. Because at the time that whole weekend, I didn't have a place to live at. And then what I done is that I went back home at the hood. And then like, you know, I spent the whole weekend there, you know, I was just doing my thing there. And I just relaxed, I just laid low. It was super nice, it was amazing, spent time with family and stuff. So yeah, um, as soon as we got, um, on Monday, I think I moved in Monday or Tuesday, somewhere around there. That's when we left from the hood and then we came straight to the office. Got to the office and you know, um, everything is moving well meetings are going up and down you know all those things and then i just had to do what now i had to move from the office to um the new place that i'm actually living into because the guy called us here the agent is like i you guys are safe you guys can come now you guys can you know um the house is, is cool you know you can just stay your keys you know all those processes when you are moving into a new home walking us through showing us and everything so, yeah one thing that i like too is that you can simply see the beautiful office that i have so now my work mode is going to be on a super it's going to be like you know on a different level so i'm excited with that, the work that i'm going to be putting in because there's, there's a lot of businesses things that i'm actually working towards you know there's this, this purpose that i've got and i'm working towards that so now we had to obviously you know go out there and get the um the storage we had to go to the storage and get the things that we needed so we here with uncle and he just had to represent that's all he had to do to represent himself so let's see what uncle says on the side Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Pumas got in the Pugu TV. I don't know how many players are in the 
Okay guys, you can see that we are now here, we are now at the storage, this is where I had literally put literally everything, so at the storage, like you know, we called them, my brother called them, he's like, I ah, know, we want to come and come over and put things, they like, no, it's only a monthly thing, yeah, there's no like three days or four days, so we had to come up with a way, we spoke to that uncle, we like, I ah, know, man, check your uncle, here's a way forward, one, two, three, understood our situation, then he allowed us to bring over my things, yeah, so, the way that those guys took them from the apartment to here, um, you know, they were able to fit it perfectly. I was excited. I knew that my things are safe, my things are in peace and stuff. So, um, now we just came here. We came to collect the storage. Yeah, and we came to collect, um, you know, the furniture, you know, um, beds, you know, um, all these things that I had, so we can be able to move them over to the new house. And then automatically from here, we're gonna be able to also go to the stores and get some things. But one thing that I liked about, like, you know, the whole scene of being at the storage is that, like, you know, I get, I got to see how everyone was just like you know literally packing in things because i remember like when they came and they packed in those things i was like i don't want anyone else to come and you know um, unpack for us and take these things and they, i want these same people because these ones are the ones that actually done the right job and you know i'm um, also like you know it was like many men like you know five men ten men they were like busy packing so the process wasn't like tough it was very simple it was nice it was better than like all my previous um sections where i had to move and i remember the first time where I had to move out from the place that I was seeing Pretoria North here in, to here in Mitre and like you know I like we, the guy came with only one truck a small truck and like you know we had to be the ones that were like you know picking up base and putting it in the truck they had to do like two trips type of thing you know it was like super hectic but like you know how this one year happened it was just like literally one simple trip and with that one simple trip everything played out the way that it did and like you know nothing broke we didn't lose anything everything came back here safe and like i got excited when i saw like you know couches fitting in here i got excited when i saw i was just coming back and putting back the tv and like you know just literally reorganizing everything and seeing that okay no this is how we want things to be so now you can see the storage is empty so we're done here we're done with the, with the, with the, with the, with, um you know taking things out of the storage we're done with that whole process what we are now going to be doing is that we're going to be taking these over to the place once we drop them over home then that's when we are heading over to the stores and we're going to be looking at what can we get you know what's needed because i'm not the type to let's say move in and then wait seven months like buy things bit by bit bit while i'm moving in not that i'm saying that i have all the money to buy things now but if i want the tv and i want this now and i want this i'll do that so i don't think about it i need to work for a tv in those months i need to do that in the you understand so yeah we decided that we we're gonna go to our closest store which was in woodmeat um what's it um gaming or not game macro macro in woodmeat and then as soon as we got there we got our brothers there they reached out to us they knew that we came here to do something big so you know the agents the guys that are selling were fighting for us we just got there and we were like ah joe we want the tv we just pointed like literally want the tv want that fridge because we already knew what we wanted it wasn't the thing of we are looking into we knew that we wanted like this type of tv we knew that we wanted this type of fridge you know that we wanted this type of pool we knew we want this type of thing so we had everything down we just got that we took one person we were like joe this is what we want you walk us through so he walked us through and then secondly we after we done with that store we had to go like you know we because i needed more beds like i only had one bed and stuff so i needed to get two more beds for my other rooms we came back home now you can see we came back with literally everything that we went out there to go get we came back with you know i'm also one brother that we got from like you know um that that the, the streets like i was like i know you know what i'm gonna help you guys setting up putting TVs, putting this, putting this. I was like, I know this guy is very important, he's valuable, so let me keep him close. We kept him close and then he came through with us, he helped us, you know, he played a major part in like, you know, setting up TVs, setting up like, you know, um, all these things that we had, like wiring, setting up our wires and stuff, because we have a lot of like, you know, technology, stuffy keys, you know, we have a lot of things that are like, you know, technology, like, you know, if it's not TVs, then it's just like, you know, things that you just press up and down and stuff. So, yeah, we done exactly that and, I'm, I'm, I'm just excited with like you know how everything happened in just that same day that very first um, day like everything was like I already could see the vision I already could see that okay no this is how things are gonna be this is where this is gonna be at this is where like you know this I'm gonna be putting this you know like I had that vision already in my mind so I was like super excited of that
So yeah, you know, like, you know, moving up and down, this whole process that we've been through, like, it really exhausted me, like, you know, it exhausted me, like, you know, physically, emotionally, like, all those things, you know, that's how I got um, exhausted and stuff. So after a year, we got done with setting up the house, you know, doing all those things. So the first thing that I had to do now, the next day was to hold interviews. Remember that I have this thing of, like, you know, funded traders, you know, traders I want to be able to pull up at the office and they'll be able to work literally from 9 all the way to 5 every single day and like placing trades buying and selling from the markets and just literally downloading money so we started with the interviews i had to go out there and see um you know the people that actually did pass our test because we had a test that we gave out the ones that did pass that's when um i actually invested my time we sat down sat down at the round table and then i listened to the ideas listened to them wanted to see what it is that they've they're seeing the markets and stuff and i got excited with all of them it was four of them that i did interview and four of them actually did get the job so now we've got four new traders at the um, forex Jesus offices and i'm super excited to be seeing you know this whole improvement being made Start with my setup and criteria, and then followed by my entry, and finish off with my risk. So for my setup, what I have is that. So for my setup criteria, what I do is I do multi time frame analysis. So I have to start from the monthly time frame. The next 50 or 60 years, if I'm still alive, I have the skill that will air forever be there. So that's why you should always think in long term. Okay. The risk management criteria, <coughs> the risk ratio that I will use is a 1 is to 2, 1 is to 3. This will ensure that I'm profitable in cases where I'm facing a streak of losses. So a 1 is to 3, if you're facing a 60% uh, 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 loss, you're still profitable because you're risking a constant 60, but your returns are 3. And then maximum risk exposure. The maximum risk per trade is 1% in the event where I see one setup for that particular day. So if today I see one setup, one AD USD, I can take a 1% risk on that setup. In the event where I identify two trades, different pairs, AD USD and NZD USD, the risk will be 0.50 each. So 0.50 for NZD USD, 0.50 for AD. Ensure that I stay to the one person. Yes, I can leave the position. If maybe that then will lead me to, to, to check my risk, my risk to two percent. Because if then maybe I lose both trades, the one that you're seeing you is the then keep it using. If I lose both trades, the maximum risk exposure will be negative two percent there. But then I like sticking to one percent because I don't trade many, 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 what do you call this? Many pairs. I only trade GJ and USDT. Oh, okay. So you only restricted yourself to two pairs only? Yes, top two pairs, but then I have major five. Mm -hmm. But then the watch list for the week can be two pairs. Oh. Even so you have like a, a total of maybe you can say seven, seven five. Maybe. It's five, five and then top two. And, and then in a week you're two. only trading two. Yeah, GJ is No stress. So this, this FTMO, this FTMO, when you're doing the FTMO, which pairs are you trading? I think it's AJGJ, USDT, and then, yeah. And how, and how long have you been trading? <laughs> I, I finished school in um, 2019, and then after... Well, not that I mean, you must... Well, not that I mean, you must... Confess that you are... Confess or no? Yeah, that's fun. What am I confessing? Ba, 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 ba. So I don't expose something I'm not supposed to. <laughs> no, so you don't want to expose. Mm, I don't want to expose. <laughs> 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 but it happened, just that you don't want to expose. What happened? You know, you know what I mean. I need to understand what happened. You need Why to convince everyone out when, when, when they go out. When you go out. And you are coming no, back to like this guy. Hey? He's like, I'm listening to you. I'm going to give you a job. Just Let's go. Yeah, so What are you doing to them? What are you doing to them? Talk, talk, tell the truth. No, yeah, yeah, so I, as I was trying to uh, yeah, find out what is confusing with with this card. Yeah, well, they're falling in. They're falling in. They are. They are falling in. They're falling in. You don't want to. You know these movies, London has fallen. 
it's so amazing being able to see like you know um, us starting off as like you know especially the whole forex Jesus like you know starting off as just like one person then two person then three person then 15 people and then 20 people and then all those numbers obviously going above like to hundreds and stuff that we are about to reach soon so super exciting super excited and without the support that I'm getting from you guys then obviously it means that it's not possible because when I'm sitting down and like I'm feeling like giving up and someone out there's like you changed my life to me automatically like you know it gives me that spark you know some people are thinking that I'm inspiring them but it's not it's it's yes i'm inspiring you but i'm getting my inspiration from you so we have to see it there we have to see life in that type of thing so on the next um on the next episode that we drop in the ep4 what's gonna be going on is like you know it's gonna be amazing like we've got team building you know i called my team over yet my please i was like you know what come check come check us through you know we put a red red carpet here we've never really walked in red carpets the only red carpets that we walked at was the ones that we put for ourselves so we put the red carpets here we had to walk up and down on the red carpet and yeah, we had a meeting you know we broke down quarter four goals we sat down and spoke about we forwards like the vision the mission you know all those things roles responsibilities afterwards we entered like you know a beautiful game of team building so team, team building is actually one of the most important things that i got to realize after the first time that we did have one like you know i was like you know what we should be having more of these things because we've got to connect as a team we've got to be able to understand each other we've got to do all those things so that's what you're going to be seeing on you know ep4 i'm super excited that you are uh, you are actually like you know loving these episodes remember that i'm doing this for you so you can get to be able to see what i go through like you can be able to just keep up with this film to see you on ep4